2024 might shape up to be the cringiest year yet for the mainstream comic industry. And I say this after we've gone through the Marvel now with Riri Williams and America Chavez, after we've had the gay Green Lantern of last year, they just don't stop. And it's part of the rules of the game. SJWs always double down. That means the woke are always going to push it further, push it further, and push it further. Now we have two examples coming from both Marvel and DC, just new stuff that is going to, of course, make you just facepalm uh, at the side of it. It's absolutely ridiculous. We're going to get into the news. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and the editor-in-chief of FandomPulse.com, the most trusted name in comics news for you. So we are, of course, building a movement that's going to be separate and equal from all of this, right? Hopefully segregated from the mainstream media. And of course, this involves a multi-pronged approach. We are reporting the news and reporting what's happening in these woke companies. We're trying to report on good indie alternatives, and we're also trying to create things ourselves. So please bookmark fandompulse.com. Hit that like and subscribe button for the channel. You guys mean a lot to me here. And of course, check out our work. Uh, you can check out my books uh, right here. Here's a good one. It's called The Cosmic Warrior. It's on my web store. And this is about a guy who ends up going into space and ends up being a champion uh, for an alien people who's oppressed. It's a lot of fun and, of course, is uh, just a good action-adventure tale like they don't tell in modern comics anymore. You'll absolutely enjoy this if you like the old Green Lantern or the John Carter of Mars uh, type of stories. This is for you, and I'm trying, uh, of course, to build a beautiful storyline here, which I hope to be an ongoing. I'd love to sell a bit more of this and actually get going on a second volume. So check it out. That link's in the description below. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Somebody just sent me a message today saying this is the best indie book they ever read. I really appreciate it. All right. All right, so this is what's happening in, of course, DC Comics. Let's start with Pride Month because it's just around the corner. It's March, so that means we got to solicit stuff for Pride Month, and we're going to have a DC Pride issue. Now, this has to be one of the cringiest covers I've ever seen, and you look at these characters on here. You got uh, your effeminate gay Superman uh, right here with Jonathan Kent with a really uh, more homosexual than I've ever seen him uh, in the way he's here with his little uh, boyfriend or whatever. I don't know where this comes from. Not only is there gay Superman, now we have black gay Supergirl. I, <laughs> I mean, is this in the comics yet? Is this something I missed? Because, like, I, I hope I did uh, with her uh, Asian lesbian lover because they got to have a very diverse multiracial lesbian relationship across this. Uh, we got, I don't even know what to call this, uh, and uh, I don't even want to try to speculate what it is. We got Harley Quinn, who is clearly a uh, drawing representation of a male uh, who's a transgender trying to pretend to be a female uh, based on the uh, way that this looks here. That's kind of what they look like once they're all done up on makeup and filters, and that's, uh, I guess, they're what they want out of Harley Quinn at the end of this as well. And then you've got a couple other characters in the background who uh, are just, I don't know what the hell they're doing there. And this is uh, what DC is presenting. This is what they're trying to sell people with. Look at how boring this looks. Uh, it's just straight on shots of just like uh, like just gayness uh, in your face and uh, pretend and looking at you uh, with, with those, those, uh, those black lesbian eyes saying, you'd better like our relationship or you're a bigot. Uh, it's exactly what they're trying to sell you uh, for DC Pride 2024 here. And uh, here's uh, here's their oh god, look at this, just gaze on the beach. This is uh, this is this is what this is what the people want out of a DC comic, right? Here. Not uh, that none of that superhero. No, no, we're not gonna fight Lex Luthor. Uh, we're just gonna get naked dudes on a beach. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh god, it's just it's so awful. You just can't make this stuff up. I, I just don't understand what the hell they're thinking <clears throat> but it gets worse as we go into a current x-men book that just came out this one's uh weapon x-men it's by christos gage now it's in, christos gage is of course a leftist uh and he's kind of a weird one uh he's actually kind of nice on twitter so i don't like to like poop on him too much because he's not he's not one of those like entitled jerks uh out there but he did actually write one of the most cringe panels ever so even if you do watch this christos uh i think you're an all right dude this is pretty bad. <laughs> and this is in this book right here. Um, and you get into it. Uh, you look like you're from olden times, kid. Nowadays, and this is, the, look, oh my God. Nowadays, folks who don't want to be pinned down as a guy or a gal use they, them pronouns. 
yeah, some Southern guys really fucking talking like this, Christos. Come on. Like, this is, why would you even, why would it, why would an editor just look at this and go, this is great. Let's put this here. Uh, and, of course, who am I to judge? They, they never want to judge. Of course, all the characters never want to judge over this uh, during the course of whatever is going. And then, of course, look at the virtue signal further. This has nothing to do with anything except for trying to program you saying this is this is great. All these like genders are, are totally normal, and even though they're not. And there's something invented in the last few years. Such persons have existed throughout history, sir, and are hardly unusual in the year of our Lord, 1909. So in 1909, there's a bunch of troons walking around and a bunch of they thems going around. X to doubt. I mean, you get thrown out of society for such a things, or at least thrown into a mental institution to correct all the problems that are going on in your head. That's what it really is. It's a mental disease and mental disorder, and we shouldn't encourage it because it ends up hurting these people at the end of the day. And that's uh, we want them to get better. We we really do. Absolutely crazy, but this is the absolute state of X-Men at this point in 2024. They've gone so far, like, they don't even hide it. There's not even a story here. It's just, it's literally two characters lecturing you on they, them pronouns, uh, and, and just right in the middle of a story. Like, why would you do that? It's so awful. And I guess, like, I don't know. Uh, I guess they get some virtue signal points from this from someone. But you don't have to read this type of stuff anymore. We have an alternative for you in The Cosmic Warrior. I hope you'll grab this on my web store, my friends. Of course, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll be back soon. 